tired of your fruit and produce sitting on your counter in the way and getting bruised, today I give you a cute little crochet pattern on how you can crochet a little fruit hammock. So stay tuned. For the fruit hammock, you need to have two pieces of dowel that are cut about nine inches long. Uh, these happen to be, I believe, three-eighths dowel. That's a pretty good size uh, for that. So you need two of those. And I'm going to use a worsted weight cotton thread. Uh, my cousin, who is a very accomplished knitter, said you need to try the Dishy brand. So I ordered this off of knitpicks.com. Uh, and I'll have the link down below of where I ordered this, but already I totally believe her. This is so, so super soft. So um, I bought the small uh, skein, but I'm going to use the cone today because I wanted to do it in blue. I'm going to use an H size crochet hook and uh, just going to start with a slip knot. And this is going to be so fun. I've already been playing around with this, so i um, excited to show you. So uh, to start with, we just need to get a row of thread onto the dowel. To make that happen, we'll just do one loop around it to get started. And we'll draw that up tight against the dowel. So now basically we're just going to do single crochets around the rod. So we're going to pull around, um, pull up our thread there pull up our thread here and draw through both on the hook. Go under your rod, pull up the yarn, pull through the two on the hook. So that gives you an idea of what we're doing. So down here we have single crochets, but we have it looped over the rod. So I'm going to slide this down. Okay, so I got down to the end here, and we are going to just make a mesh pattern this direction until we get to um, it long enough to get to the other rod. And uh, I've made a macrame pattern of this, which turned out really, really cute. Um, and I have the link down below for that. Um, but so on that one, I stopped at about 17 inches. So once we get there, we'll analyze to make sure that that's long enough for what you want. Uh, but to get to the next step, we're going to chain four. And we are going to skip one of the stitches and go to the next. And so this first row is a little tricky. You just got to get your needle in there and you do a single crochet. And now we chain four. And we're going to skip this one and go into this one here. Might be easier to set it down. There we go. It's easier to set it down on the table. And chain four. skip one. So here we did this one, so I'm going to skip that one and go into this one. One, two, three, and four. And we're, so we did that one, so we're going to skip there and go into this one. And so I'll just finish across. So depending on whether you had odd or even, you might be down here and uh, have this look a little different. So I am going to go ahead and skip the next one, and then I am going to put my last single crochet in my starting uh, stitch. So chain four and put in a single crochet. So you might have to adjust. It's not crucial one way or the other um, to make the adjustment. At the end of the first row, this is what you have. We're starting a mesh pattern here. So to start the second row, we'll chain four. We'll turn our project and we'll put a single crochet in the top of the first loop. We'll chain four. And we'll put a 
loop, uh, single crochet in the next loop and go all the way across. So we're down to our last one, chain four and single crochet in the top. So you can see where we're going with this. We're making a mesh pattern um, and we're going to go uh, exact same thing, chain four to start and go a single crochet in each one and continue this to it's about 17, 18 inches long. As I was doing this, I realized how much um, this is going to stretch when you put your produce, you put your fruit down in the middle. So I'm going to stop now. I'm at about 14, about 15 inches, and I'm going to attach the other uh, dowel rod to this end. So to attach the dowel rod, I'm going to work uh, right to left, and I just have the, the dowel behind my project going to pull around the first uh, loop and going to go in your first loop there, go under, pull it through, and do a single crochet. Go through your loop, draw up your yarn, now you have two on your hook, and finish it off with a single crochet. There we go. Okay, down to the last one and do the same thing. Okay, so we have a good start here. I want to reinforce my edge. I want this to be a little tighter. So I'm just going to go into the end of the first row and do a single crochet and going to skip the um, that stitch which is a uh, a single crochet but we were joining the rows and go to the end of the next row and pull it kind of nice and tight do another single crochet skip that single crochet end and go across and this should just give a nice lip to the edge of your basket oh yeah that's gonna work good so I'm down here to this end. I'm going to go around the rod and I am going to make my um, hanger to hang it to um, a hook underneath my counter. So at this point I'm going to just do nice tight chains to the length that I want. I already have hooks underneath my counter uh, so I'm going to adjust for those. Okay, that looks like that's going to work, so I'm going to measure that so that I can duplicate the same measurement on the other end. So mine is 9 inches. I'm going to go around this rod. I'm going to go into this hook, this uh, stitch here, so that we don't have any slippage. And I'm going to repeat what I did on the other side. Just put a single crochet in the end of your rows, skipping uh, the little one there, which is your single crochet uh, row. Okay, you're going to go around this one again. There we go and do my nine inch chain to make the hanger on this end. Okay, that looks pretty close. Yeah, there's nine inches. Going to attach it to this side. Kind of attach it in one of the stitches. Do a single crochet, or not really a single crochet, just a slip stitch in one of those. And we should be good. So it looks like it's a little balled up right now uh, because of your side, but it stretches so much, I think we have um, a winner here. 
Okay, it did work. Look at this. Here is our fruit basket, just using uh, simple chains and single crochets. Um, if you want a macrame one, I have a macrame pattern on the channel as well. Love the look of that one. I just thought I would try with uh, some cotton worsted weight yarn. So if you have any questions while you're making yours, please comment down below. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the House.